also too, man, I, I guess we could get right into it. Uh, big up friggin' Price the Boss, uh, 220. Hey. Is it Grow Your Media? <laughs> The man have got to go over there and, and host a, a, a pretty fun event, a nice pool party, uh, very interesting nights to say the least. Uh, or are you, what are you doing right there? Are you doing some events right there? That was a sorry mom actions? and dad. That was a sorry mom and dad camp. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Sorry mom and dad. Oh well, yeah, you had the sorry mom and dad camp too. Yeah, the I think sorry, I had the yo, sorry mom and dad camp. Vegas is the guy, man. Trust me. Oh yeah, why is that? Because he gave me the sorry mom and dad camp. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about it, man. What, 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 what were some of you guys' highlights of the night? Um, what did you guys enjoy? What did you guys not enjoy? Um, at first, you know, I was like, ah, we're trying to get the fuck out of here because, you know, it wasn't really popping. But then as the drinks came in and everything started to move smoothly, it was all right still. You know, the girls, them could dance on the pool. The, it was too cold for the pool. I don't know. We came late or something. I don't know. There were still girls in the pool, though. But there were still women. Yeah, there were still shorties in the pool. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thuggy thuggy. Homeboy. Your homeboy came through with Maxilius. the whipped cream. Us. They got Maxilius. Um, Maxilius with the, with the suit. Exoticas. So mm-hmm. any of the ladies, you know, yeah. they want any, any exotic time, yeah, you know, yeah, they can yeah, hit up yeah, Maxilius yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, Maxilius came through trying to, you know, liven up the party. But I think that's the one thing I didn't like. Like, it wasn't. It should have been more livelier. There's a lot more men than females. I think there was a video shooting. There was a video shoot being shot at the same time. Like, you think there was a lot going on? There was a, so much yeah. going on instead of just focusing on the party and having fun. Um, shout out DJ Jamian. I'm moving. He did. He, he did his thing. Yeah, that's fucking <laughs> whack. He did his thing, DJ Jamian. Um, yeah, bro. Bingo got on the mic. I got on the mic. You know, we tried to we tried to live it up. Bingo like, definitely whatever. rocked it up. I, yeah. I think when Bingo got there and and friggin' went on the the mic, that's when the party started to get a little bit more lit. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know what I said? What did I say? I said yo, Pole Patrol is in control. <laughs> you know what I'm and that's when, it, you know, cause like okay, so talking about earlier, like the girls were saying like, yo, it's a stripper party. Like, why are they playing Afro beats and and and, and Azanto and, 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 and reggae, right? And I was like, yeah, and then they, sometimes the DJs, they're just so into their own, like, maybe you know, like, sometimes yeah, the DJs yeah. are in, they're into, into their own zone and mm-hmm. they're not even looking at this, oh, and they're sweating, and they're just, mm-hmm. 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 you know what I'm saying? And they're not feeling out the crowd. Right. Yeah. And it's it's like stripper party, a girl complained. So I was like, I went to Price and said, yo, fam, put me on the mic and let's get this party started. He's like, so let's go, fam. But I had this big ass something, something, you gave me like this body cam, I don't know, movie type of thing to hold. I was like, holy, so. I think Gus, you came and got it after, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. I put it down, correct the record. That's some good footage, too. And then, yeah, we just started rocking the mic. And yeah, but you know, Pole Patrol was in control. Like, you know, <laughs> and that's when the girls started getting real jiggly, real wiggly, mm. you know. And then, yeah, the ones started coming. And yeah. Now, the one thing, guys, this is why, um, this is why I, I had to fire Bing. So I, I don't know what happened after Bingo got off the mic, but Bingo just disappeared. Then and he didn't disappear for like 20 minutes, half hour, hour, two hours. Bingo was done for the night. <laughs> to the point where I don't know why my dumbass didn't just call him. I was just there looking, yo, you guys don't see Bingo? Or you went to the washroom? <laughs> Like you go, oh look, sound effects ASAP right there. He didn't even have to say anything. And yo, like we, I was going outside. I was looking everywhere, everywhere. I called Bingo. I'm like, yo, Bingo, you go? Yeah. Oh, why bad? Yo, I had to leave. I had to leave. I'm like, so hold on, nigga. You couldn't tell us that you left. Like, this nigga just cut, fam. As a team player, that pissed me off. Bye bye, yo. (laughs) I'm like, yo, I'm worried. I'm like, yo, did did? I have timestamp. So anybody yeah. like kidnap this guy like he was trying to you know get one of these guys shot here or something and yo I said, yo come in the glam was like yo fam when it happened to you thought that some man had in the basement like yo come this way bingo help the man and just oh, 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 oh. tie up tie up in the where's basement. the back page shape where's the back page like, shape <laughs> where's the back page shape <laughs> in a pat down like shake up my dogs <laughs> like, uh, like, so yeah. what happened bro why did you leave bro yo shit yo I can't even say but yeah. <laughs> But I had to fly though, you know? I got a car and someone came to get me. I was like, okay. I had to jet still. But they came it, to Hamilton. Um, the, they yeah. came to where we was at to get yeah, you, fam. It was, one of those, it was dangerous. Uh, it, was one of those, it was a fly quick. It was like, oh, I didn't call nobody to come get me, but it's like, yo, I'm here. And it's like, I'm here. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever, you know? And plus, I was running out of breath. I lost my voice. 
I was like, I gave that mic everything I had. It was like a giant, <laughs> it, was like a, like, it was like a giant Dragon Ball Z spirit bomb and just <laughs> gave it my all before I just died. And whatever happened, happened. Cause I was like, yo, I'm like, okay, I have to fly quick. But then I think Gus hit me up after. Resmond hit him up too. Said, yo, I have to make a move, you know? But yeah. Yo, fam, you gotta understand, bro. If we come together, we gotta leave together. It's so, mm-hmm. simple as that. I mean, okay. You know what your new name is? Bingarella. <laughs> <laughs> left my ring behind. He left, he left something behind. <laughs> I left a fucking slipper. He left his shotty behind. Fam, it's so left, fucked up. No, no, you no, say that man left before 12. I, I left, the I, man I, left before 12, fam. The, he did. At the strike Holy of 12, shit. he was gone. I left my fam. charger behind. Someone has my charger. Nah, but just make sure you let the man know you're leaving stuff. Yeah, for sure. Kinda, yeah. Well, I read you guys. You know, that I read you guys. Me you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Teamwork makes a dream work. Facts. Mm-hmm. Um, any any other highlights for you, baby? Um, the big the big um, you weren't there when I shouldn't say the big, but the the thicker uh female that came out, the lady that mm-hmm. came out, mm-hmm. definitely uh was entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, when Vegas got on the mic, he was drunk and bad bitch got strapped. <laughs> the boy got trapped in ass. <laughs> Back to the ass. Yo. yo, DJ. Yo, DJ. Yo, if you don't know who I am, it's DJ Las Vegas. <laughs> I was in the Black Challenger, you know what I'm saying? Bulls big me up. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Vegas was really on his Vegas vibes. And to, to, the, to the young gentleman that was by the washroom for the whole night, please. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, fam, there's, there's other ways to chop shot. Oh, don't don't stand by the washroom. It's creepy, bro. Yeah, like, girls will talk to do coke. Like, not <laughs> like, 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 girls will have sex in washroom, but that's like, so, that's like 2007. That's like 2007. The man said that's 2007. Yeah, that's like, like bathroom, high school thing. Yeah, yeah, like, bathroom sex. Just bring the shots to the washroom. Yeah, like, like, we just finished COVID. We think we want all that bacteria up, and they're like, ew. It's crazy because we had a big fucking SUV. He could have just went into the fucking SUV, put yeah. down the seats, whatever he had to do, right? right? The man wants Right by the washroom. Gonna hold that. My dad. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Give a bouncer five bucks. See the girl. Okay, go. Upstairs. My dad. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, the man and we're not allowing anybody to go upstairs. And yo, that pool. Oh, I swear, I seen like mosquitoes breeding in the pool. Oh, oh no. Oh. And I see the girl that with the kiss. I was like, oh no. I seen like eggs. I seen like larvae. Algae. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't go. I, I, was, I had to go. Yeah, I think I seen like a girl was pulling out her hair and stuff when she came out the pool. Also, to big up a uh, GL glows, she got a um she got a lap dance for a Beagle girl. Mm. Yeah, I remember that, the Beagle girl was Angelina. like on her head. Why you have to say the girl's name, fam? Cause she's on Beagle Friday. Live. What the fuck? Who cares? What's like, her name again? Angelina. No, fam. Like, oh my god, Angelina. Is that Argentina. a time staff for real though? Nah. Why can't we put her name out there? Because we don't know if she wants her name out there like that. Bro, she's on Beagle Live, live. dog. Every goddamn day for three hours. She wants her name out there. 100%. Mm. Angelina. Damn, Angelina. We're not giving out her Angelina. Instagram. She has said it like that. five times. I ain't time. There's probably 10 million Angelinas out there. Angelina, Angelina, Angelina. Also, too. Okay. Um, Bigger price and everything. But the one negative that I have about this party and... I guess it wouldn't be a negative to the party, but I guess per se to the DJs. DJs don't ever be scared to fucking play Play, Toronto songs, bro. I don't care what mix up or what Mm -hmm. problems you think they they're into or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, Vegas said, you're there to break tunes, bro. And if you can't even break songs from your own frigging hometown, then beat it. Yeah. Like, don't Mm -hmm. ever be scared to play Toronto songs. Where there should have been a whole fucking section of just Toronto records, fam. And this is, Come on. And not to pat ourselves on our back. I think this is why we're needed. Like, in the long term of things, I think people are us are needed because we went to that club asking these guys to play Toronto music. Shout out Goldie London. Shout out uh, Pangs. All these uh, people that we're asking them to play. You know, Moolah. Like, we're Doovie. asking them. Doovie. Yeah. Press. We're mm. asking them. We don't care about the sides, fam. Run fam. the fucking tunes and let's get mm. this place lit off mm-hmm. of our own music, bro. Fact. I asked one of the DJs to play fucking attachments because I just felt like that was the next song to play. Yeah, that play was attachments. <laughs> and the man was like, nah, fam, I don't think, yo, I don't really like that record still. But yo, bro, as a DJ, okay, listen, you know the record as a DJ, right? If I don't like certain parts of the song, I'll censor it myself. Mm. Like, I don't need to play the parts where it's desensitized to people. I just cut that part out mm. so people don't hear that part. But remember, we're all drunk or lit or, or high and shit. If we cut out certain parts, we should be fine. 
Yeah, but you know I, think what I'm saying? I hear you, but I think it's the like it's the bigger aspect. There's no like, bigger be like, aspect, yeah, right? Because We're it'd be DJs. like it, but it'd be like him playing like real in the six. Like, so it, play it. But no, I, I hear you. Don't get it twisted. Mm, I hear mm, no, I'm not a DJ. Okay, but I hear okay. you. If I'm a DJ, I'm running attachment. A hundred percent, bro. I'm running attachment. It's hundred percent. I you you have to be you I guess DJs. These are from the hood too, to an extent, It right? doesn't matter what... No, no, no. Hear, hear me out. Let me finish. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. I'm saying they have some sort of like G to them where it's just like they know that they're going to be G checked and at the end of the day, they're going to keep it G and be like, yeah, Bro, I'm running this tune mm -hmm. because it's not about fucking politics. Mm -hmm. It's about getting the crowd fucking lit. So if this song is going to get the crowd lit, I'm going to run some. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm from the hood too. But I chose a career that keeps me neutral from whatever issues happen in the world. So if a song is hot and the people want to hear it, unfortunately, I'm going to play it. If I have to censor out certain parts, I will due to the fact of where I'm from. But if that's not the case, I don't give a shit, bro. At the end of the day, that's my career. It's like going into news and something happened in your country and you're not going to report it. Because but, it's but, bad on your country. But, nigga, but niggas get killed news, for that. But, but journalists and them niggas get killed for that Unf kind of shit all the that time. But that is that's the career we I know, chose, But that's bro. what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying, though. Some DJs, I hear what you're saying. And I'm not knocking what you're saying. I'm just saying some DJs are not going to put themselves in that position. Mm -hmm. Some then, DJs are going to be like, you know what? I came here to, uh, to get a bag. I'm going to play my fucking set and I'm going to cut. Then, I'm not going to put myself in a position where I'm going to play these songs and... And I'm going to hurt myself or I'm going to have these guys come at me wrong when technically they should play it. Like, it shouldn't be an issue. Music is music. But they're, this is not how it used to be five, ten years ago. Well, five, ten years ago, niggas were still probably getting, DJs were still getting checked. But now DJs are probably getting robbed and different things. Like, they're really getting fucked up because they're running certain songs, fam. Then to be honest, bro, if you are afraid... It's not right, but it's an idiot thing. It's the idiot thing from the mandem. The mandem think like idiots, right? So they're going to be like, yo, okay, you're running these sort of tunes from the ops? All right, we're going to deal with you. If they talk about the video, the, the video graphers like that now. Yo, the, the video man, all right, you want to play like this is um this is not an op thing. You can only do videos on this. Nah, choosing it's an sides. issue. Yeah, yeah, you're choosing sides. Thing. <clears throat> if you are afraid to play music from your city, get the fuck out the game. 100%. Yeah, this I, is this if you were if we're trying to build this infrastructure of Toronto music, Canadian music, whatever we're doing as DJs and you're afraid to play certain music from certain ends, then honestly, this is not for you. Go do something else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, it doesn't make sense. Perspective. This doesn't build our infrastructure. It keeps us in a box. I can't go to a a man's party with a certain DJ there and he's only playing one certain set of music. I want to hear all music from Toronto. I want to hear new music from Toronto. That's and across the world, bro. Break fucking records. Let, let me jump in for a quick second, even with the DJs, right? There has to be an incentive, right? You have the passion. So, you, and all of us, we, we want to hear it. We want to see the scene advance. But there's a bunch of DJs that if they don't play any Toronto music, it's not going to make any, any difference to their bottom line. The crowd's still going to be enjoying themselves. They're not going to miss it. That's mm -hmm. not the point, though, my G. My, the point is to break right? records. They... We get, look, as DJs, right? If we're in record pools or if we're in fucking coalitions or whatever, we're getting new music all the time. The Cardi joint just played, just just dropped the other day. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We have a fucking duty as DJs to play these records, to put out this shit. You know what I'm saying? To our market, to our fan base. If we don't do that, then what are we doing this for? Mm -hmm. That is the problem. That mm -hmm. is the bottom line. It doesn't matter if we get an incentive or not. We get the fucking, the clout for being the first to put that shit out in our market. That's how it used that's to be. That's what it is. That's how, but that's that's how it still be, bro. Like even, no, no, no. But it's not. That, but if you think about it like that now, it's not like that. There's bloggers, Instagram. Like, there's other shit that are breaking records. TikTok. Like, TikTok is going back and breaking records more than DJs are. Yep. So, so everything has okay. changed. So this is okay. why the DJs have, like, the DJs have kind of lost their way like some of the artists have, to tell you the truth. No. The yes, DJs, they have. Like, okay, okay. Yes, 100%, okay. bro. If, if you're not fucking business savvy, but like you said, since TikTok is breaking records, if YouTube is breaking records, then as a DJ, you need to be up to the times. But if they're this not. Is, if, these are the f if these are the factors that are breaking records, I need to be in these spots. But, I need to be the one in TikTok at the parties showing that I'm breaking these records so that it can be in the algorithm and people see me Breaking these records. But which yeah. DJs are doing that, baby? And that's the thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys right now. Free Gems 
Start utilizing the discovery platforms to break records. I know, but TikTok, Vegas, YouTube, like what you're seeing Snapchat, is Snapchat, everything. I know, that you but need what to you're do. what you're seeing is what they should do. Yes, but that's not happening. That's but what that's we're what saying. But right that's now. what we're seeing. Though, exactly. It's not happening. So now that it's not happening, I'm telling you, niggas, as a veteran DJ in the in the game, please start utilizing the fucking platforms to break records. I don't care if it's. A, a record from a not block. I don't care if it's a record from Australia. If the shit's hot, you utilize the platforms and break these records. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not a DJ and you need to be out the fucking game you and do what? something else. You know what, too? DJ Snoopy said the same thing. It's similar to what you said, you know, like somewhat, uh, along the lines that you were saying. Mm -hmm. now, I agree with him, too. Uh, he's like, yo, like he said, I think he said something like, I'm not afraid to play no Toronto. I'll play Toronto music if I want. Da, da, da. You know, I'm not involved with X, Y, Z, he was saying. Yo, just music, you saying something like that. Like, so kind of like similar to what you're saying, you know? No, yeah. I'll play devil's advocate right here. Mm. In the last two years, what song would you guys want to break from Toronto? In the last two? Yeah. I would want to break um <clears throat> the top five joint. Shut up. Ah, da, da, da. Was that two years? Movie. Movie. Wow. I would break you know that. what's crazy? It's all the diss songs that are like the best songs. Unfortunately, but that's all over the world. Unfortunately. And who broke that song? The uh, sorry. You know who broke wow. it, right? Who the broke blogger. it? Academic. Academic. Hey. Huh? DJ Academic. DJ Academic. He's yeah, a DJ. Well, he doesn't DJ. He doesn't DJ no more though. But but he does. He did, and he changed his platform. That's what I'm saying. That's what demanded me to do, fam. If that's what, if that's your calling, if DJing is something that is not for you, then change. Yeah. But Change the platform. Biggest is right in that aspect because when when academics does his shows, it usually starts off with fucking he runs music. A set. He so runs he a does set. run a set. So Vegas is right in that form. Yeah, he DJs breaks records. Who, uh, he or, does break. Or he breaks he, records. He helps like because the record companies you can see it like K Flock yeah, and those guys. The record Press, companies probably Spidey, give him a little bag. Yeah, run five. that at the beginning. Yeah. So even if the DJ traditional turntables at a club breaking records is is not the thing. There's still the DJ at home on Twitch mm -hmm. breaking these fucking records. It's still a DJ thing. It's still breaking records. So break the records yeah. however way you know how to do them. If it's in the club, if it's behind your computer, if it's on an Instagram or a Snapchat, whatever. No, right. Break the fucking Jazzy records, Jeff, fam. Jazzy Jeff goes live every, every day. day on Facebook, fam. Mm, yeah, there, 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 there's DJs that go live and every day. Even... even when we're listening to serious radio, yeah. the, the DJs will tell you, yo, we're on here, mm -hmm. fucking um, put it on the stories and, you know, we'll be posting and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You're definitely right in that aspect. I just more think from um, just, again, playing dev devil's advocate. I just think the DJs are like, one, do I really want to try and break a top five record? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do I want to break a, a, a oppie record when it comes to Toronto? And then two, Toronto doesn't really like, fuck, Toronto really doesn't have music to be breaking like that because like the music is not like timeless bro. but then this is the thing though remember as a DJ you gotta find those records like, man. Like, you gotta find them like yes there's a millions of records that come out right if you if you like an artist that you're attached to and it's like yo this song is fucking dope let me try to put some steam behind it that's what you're gonna do you're gonna fucking play that record what you do when you're working out you're playing the record you're fucking DJing you're playing the record you're fucking talking to your girl you're playing the record in the background you're gonna do whatever it is to, to break that shit bro you tell your friends about it Yo, Bingo, there's a new song by fucking DJ um, Paper Towel. Yo, it's called LCBO. Yo, you need to hear that shit. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm going to play for you. And if you like it, you're going to play for your people. Yes. Yeah, so, you're right, though, fam. Like, this is like, it's. But niggas are scared, bro. Not Let's a keep lot it of funky. Timeless or tuned that, like, you were to getting from this too. city where, like, you can hear that playing in, like, Dubai <clears throat> Club, fam. Like not we're just thinking, the states, yeah, but, like but we're everywhere. thinking everywhere. But we're thinking about a whole different aspect now. When you're talking about worldwide and shit, we're just talking about the city. We're talking no, about like the city of Toronto. Song, okay, okay, the okay, club okay. Hear me, okay, to. because yeah, because I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to be like, yo, let's take out certain artists. But if you do take out, who? What other? Okay, top five. Who else? What other songs? Like name five songs then that you're breaking in the la in the next two, or that you would break in the next two years, Fucking, the last two years. The the fucking that move the movie wrote the movie joint I would break I'll try to break nightmares joint from Duvia I'd try to break I think that um, was I think that was like three years ago but that was three yeah okay fucking I would try to break the Richie Stacks joint the freestyle unfortunately it's a freestyle but I would still break it because it's dope fucking Goldie's um lit bitch or even the fucking one with her boyfriend I would break that 
which I do. How do I lose or whatever? Or how can I win that one? How can I? It's called how can I? And I would fucking break like fucking t- um fifty thousand on my neck, or or I'd fucking break um the the Peng's record, fucking. You know what I'm saying? I'd break, and there's so many records you can break, fam. The Gang Bang is a silly constitution. I'd break that record. You wouldn't do audience? I'll do audience, bro. Any, yeah, I'll do, you know what? I'll do easy. I think easy is a lot more. Fucking fire. Yo, easy is one of those records that you can probably just play anywhere and people be like, yo, who is this? Yeah. Yeah, easy more than anything. Better than audience. I, but I, I, that's a problem that I guess a conversation for another time, but like, I feel like, Toronto or just music in general, like these guys put out so much music that they miss their hit. Yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. Put yeah, out yeah. Before. yeah. Yeah, I've said it many, many times. Like yeah. it's they'll put out so much that they'll have a hit song. Roni does it a lot. I feel like there's a there's a bunch of songs that Roni will put out. And I'm like, fam, why don't you actually like run this song for like a couple of months and like really put some money on it? Mula mm-hmm. the same thing. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I feel mm-hmm. like they put out so much music that they'll miss their hits, the songs that they should probably be giving to the DJs. Yeah. You know, yeah. trying to push on TikTok, trying to do different things, but but like I said, bro, even that, okay, so fuck. Quickly before we move on, like, it's like DJs need to, like, sorry, artists need to start making, like, dub plates for the, the local DJ so they can actually, like, Run their tune. feel like, okay, this is a special, okay, this is for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like with easy, easy, turn the way too much machinery, throw DJ Las Vegas in there and, like, oh, I'm going to play everywhere I go because he's meant. You shot me out on the record. There's so many DJs out here that you could do that for. King Turbo, fucking yeah, Vegas, anybody. GG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put this thing on CP. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be in there somewhere. Let me, let me, let me oh. DJ Ritz, you know what I'm saying? There's like, you can do Ritz, that for yeah. a lot of people, a lot of DJs out here. You can just make some, like, just the first half and just let the rest of the song play. But if the DJs get that from you, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like, yo, this is fucking dope. Let me, let me throw it in my mix. You're shutting me out. That's a that's a free play for you. That's DJ's jam. Las Vegas, like every other track. Hey. Let's get it. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. When you guys, we're giving you guys free game. Free as game. As one dog um, would say, free game. Yes, yeah, yeah, Snoopy yeah. has a bare tub dub place from reggae artists too. And, and, yeah, and but that's we need, reggae. I need, they and, love doing that. Exactly, shit, right? but we need more from the hip hop, the hip hop guys, and uh, more from the R and B people. Imagine mm-hmm. a sick R and B dub. You know what I'm saying from like fucking what's that youth's name? That's Romeo Wilson or oh, something. Just uh, uh, shouting his little, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. just shouting out a man like bingo, bingo, <laughs> big y'all them <laughs> finger. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. Like, like, that one. Up, I don't know. Choose <laughs> up, <I> get <laughs> up. That's how I know that was. A, that's how I know me. I think <laughs> me and Gucci were outside, and all I heard is choose up. You get bruised up. I'm like, oh, Bingo's on the mic. <laughs> I'm like, Bingo's on the mic. <laughs> like, yo, the Paw Patrol is in control. Let's go. <laughs> you want to see some? <clears throat> you want to see some? <clears throat> what would you if you like this video or any other videos like this, there's more that you can choose from. Make sure you like, comment, and share these videos. And make sure you subscribe right now.